Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 2 bike rack right here on our 2019 Ford Explorer. The Kuat NV is probably my favorite bike rack. It's definitely a premium bike rack with premium features. So we're going to take a look at some of those features like the great weight capacity it has for electric bikes, the ability to tilt the way the bike's on, but we're going to focus on that with our Ford Explorer just to see if it's going to be the right fit for you, your bicycles, and your car. The first feature we'll take a look at is the tilt away feature. So we have this lever right over here. You're going to want to pull that lever and then just let that bike rack drop down. And you'll want to do this if you want to access your hatch even with the bikes on. So as you can see here, we have plenty of clearance between our door, our pedals, and our handlebars allowing us to get access to our trunk, maybe grab our waters, our helmets, our bags, without having to take our bikes off. And once the door closes, you just need to lift up on the bike rack and it snaps into place. If you do max out the weight capacity of about 60 pounds per bike, you are gonna kinda have to lift up, that, up on that weight. It does help you out a little bit, but definitely something worth considering if that's gonna be a big issue with that weight. So let's take a look at the way our bike is mounted to this bike rack. In the back, we have this rear wheel strap that's holding down our wheels. And then in the front, we have this front wheel mount. I like pretty much any bike rack that has a front wheel mount just because it makes it so much easier for me. For example, if you have a carbon fiber frame bike like what we have here, this means I'm not worried about warping or cracking my frame like I would with other traditional bike racks. Also, if you have alternate frames, let's say your women's bikes, your children's bikes, your step through frames, having this means you don't have to get a frame adapter bar. So to take the bike off, we're going to start at the rear wheel strap. Press this lever, pull up on that strap, and then I try to just move it out of the way so it doesn't get caught up in our spokes. And then come over here to the front, you're going to grab the bike by the frame so it doesn't tilt backwards. Notice though how we have a lot of height here, we'll take a look at that measurement later, but if you want you could get the, frame, the ramp to add on to make this easier. So you're going to press this button on our front wheel mount, lift up, push out. From here, we just grab our bike and we're ready to go. With our bike out of the way, we get to take a closer look at the bike rack itself. So we have that tray design and this can move back and forth to accommodate different wheelbases. The maximum wheelbase this can carry is up to 48 inch long bikes. This strap goes down, secures that rear wheel at the end of the frame. Each tray, you also have this cable lock. So this goes around your bike and secures it. All of these locks are key to like, so you only need one key to access the entire system. The front cradle has different grooves for different tire widths. So whether you have your really thin tires or your wider tires, this can carry it. Now, usually the maximum tire width is gonna be up to three inch wide tires, but if you do have a fat bike, no issues at all. You just need to get the extra strap adapter, then it can carry tire widths of up to five inches. Our front wheel cradle also has those grooves for those tire widths. This ratchet stands to secure that front wheel, and then it folds down to be nice, neat, and compact. When you do have pretty much any accessory behind your vehicle, there's going to be some length added to the back of it, especially since the Kuat NV can be added onto to get four bikes onto the back of your Explorer. So we'll take some measurements to see exactly how much. Measuring from our bumper on our Explorer to the furthest point of the bike rack, which is the end of this repair stand, it sits at 34 inches of length added. Definitely a measurement to keep in mind. Whenever you're backing into your garage or trying to park into a really tight spot, don't forget that you have a bike rack as well as bikes behind you. Earlier, I mentioned that the Explorer has a good amount of ground clearance, so I'll show you what that means. Measuring from the end of the bike rack to the ground, we have a ground clearance of 29 inches. That's right by our trays. Um, that's the height of where our trays are. But compare that to where the shank is, and that's 19 and a half inches. So we have a very decent shank rise, usually good with vehicles that have low ground clearance, because that's important. 
Whenever you go up those steep inclines like your driveways or hills, you'll want a good amount of ground clearance to clear. In our case here though, it means that our bikes sit higher up off the ground, meaning more height to lift your heavier bikes onto. Again, if that is a big issue for you, the good thing is, is that the Kuat NV can get the separate access ramp added to it just to make it easier just to ramp the bikes up instead of lifting it. Oh, by the way, if you do need to access your hatch real quick with the bikes off, you can do so with it in the down position and then you can open the door. But sometimes when your bikes are off, you might want to put it into the compact or the folded up position. To do so, you pull the lever you pulled earlier to tilt it away, but this time you push up and then it folds up. The closest point is going to be a lot of clearance. So that's from the tray to the bumper, about five and a half inches of clearance there. No worries about that. The length now added to the back of our vehicle is going to be from the bumper to the end of the bike rack, 16 and a half inches. So this is definitely the position you'll want it in. When you're just planning on driving around town, you're not planning on taking your bikes out for a trip just yet, this is also how you would store it in your garage. But what is it like living with your bike rack behind your vehicle? Well, there's two extra features here in the folded up position that the Kuat NV has. One is that our lever is very easily accessible. You might be holding your bike with one hand, you would push down with this other hand. If you could reach it, you could also step up and access that lever. Another thing is our bike repair stand. The Kuat NV has this stand that comes out, makes it easy to make emergency repairs to your bike. Maybe something happens when you're on the trail, you can fix that real quick. You can also get the Kuat NV base, but that does not have the repair stand. This is the additional version for the 2.0. With it folded up like this, notice how our rear windows are completely visible. Although if you got the four bike version that is going to cover that, our taillights are visible as well. Now our backup camera sits right where the bike repair stand sits. If you had the Kua NV base, it wouldn't be in the way at all. This is far enough though that you'll still be able to see the cars behind you. You'll just also see the bike rack behind you. Another thing that this does cover though is it's gonna be the license plate. That's pretty normal for pretty much any platform style bike rack. This bike rack has a two inch shank which fits right into the two inch hitch receiver and it's a tool free install. So once you pop it in, you don't need any wrenches or tools. You tighten it down with this knob. So it does include a hitch pin and a lock. That lock is key to like to the cable locks you find at the end of each of your trays. Then you only need to use one key to access everything. And then when you tighten this down all the way, it extends a ball cam inside of your hitch receiver, creating an anti-rattle effect. So let's do a quick shake test. To shake as a shaker bike rack, just to try to simulate that road movement and vibration, you can see how I'm really just moving the car at this point. That shows that it's a really secure fit between our bike rack and our vehicle, making for a smoother ride for our bikes overall. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Now lastly, we're going over some full speed bumps and we can see here the up and down action and this will just be like driving in and out of a parking lot, garage or driveway. So my personal thoughts about the Kuat NV is it definitely is my favorite bike rack like I said at the beginning of this vehicle and now you see why. We have all those premium features, we have those really smooth movements. I kind of wish the ramp was included because that would be the perfect pairing for our Ford Explorer, but it's nice to know that it is an option for you. Also, you can get this in different colors. So what I have is the gunmetal gray that has these orange accents. You can also get this in metallic black with silver accents, or if you want, 
You can get the matte black, but that's gonna be the Kua NV base. Whichever one you want, you can get it to match your vehicle. Then you still get that nice Kua look, which is what every Kua bike rack has. So again, this has a really good weight capacity. I definitely recommend getting the add-on ramp for your Ford Explorer. That way you can fully utilize this bike rack for your vehicle. And that was a look right here at our Kua NV 2.0 2 bike rack here on our 2019 Ford Explorer.